Yo, what's good, family? I'm King Napes, Bud, and Hill, and this is what we drinking. And today, we have a special, special, special episode for you guys. We have some true special guests. And when I mean special guests, we talking about local brothers, owners, and CEOs, co-founders of the Whiskey Right. None other than Edwin Wright and Ray Robinson. Brothers. Welcome, 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 man. Appreciate y'all having on the show. Thank you So glad that y'all came out here to, you know, give us the opportunity to interview you guys, to talk about your, your whiskey, right? We are some big fans of your bottles, your brand, and we just wanted our fans, our audience, our family to just get to know you guys more and just understand more about your brand, what you got going on and what you got going on in the future. So. What I would like to ask, none other, and family, as you know, we're Drink Channel. We already got our glasses poured up, and we had to pour it up with the Whiskey Right, the Cherry Blue, because that's how we got our start. That's, that's I think, where it all started. What? That was like, what, one of our first mm -hmm. ever episode. yeah. episodes that we've ever done on our channel, and we have a, a name for it, and we call it the Hennessy Killer. <laughs> and yes, honestly, I still feel that is true to this day, and we're going to get some more information about why we feel that way from the owners. So, first question I want to ask, you know, having you all on the show is, how did you all get started? What was the inspiration behind the Whiskey Right Company? So, so I tell this story all the time. So, so as a chef, right, I'm, I'm, I'm in the kitchen smoking a brisket. And so we've got an event coming up. Uh, and so I'm thinking of different things to do, something, something different to, to, you know, wow the people. So, it just hit me, kind of like a you know lightning strike. Uh, so I decided to smoke and fuse some alcohol. Mm. I said, why can't I do that? So I just started looking on the internet and found small you know smokers for individual glasses and whatnot. So I decided to make my own device to smoke larger amounts. Um, so I tried different flavors: hickory, pecan, uh, applewood, uh, cherry wood, all of that stuff. Different alcohols. Um, debuted it at the event. Uh, it, it was a big success, the cherry wood and the apple wood. People were begging me for it, asking me where I can get it, asking me, you know, to buy it right then. Um, and that kind of, that's when the bug hit me. Um, so I just went, you know, full bore into it. Mm. Started buying some some small barrels. Started smoking, you know, different things and kind of perfecting the, the the whiskey a little bit, and then sampling it at the bar every now and again. And then uh, gave some to Ray. Then Ray took some to, to his friends and family. They loved it. And, you know, fast forward from 2015, that's when that started. And in 2017, like late summer, he and I decided to start a company together. Um, so you guys have known each other since, for yeah, a long time. since, you know, wow. Okay. <laughs> Dope. Um, so, you know, that's when that started. So we found a distillery down in, a, or a spot to put a distillery down in Waynesboro. Um, and we've been making, you know, making it ever since and started with one one bar, one liquor store, and now we're, you know, about to expand to so you own the know, ABC a lot of, site. Uh, right, exactly. ABC? Yeah. That's big. That's very big. Yeah, so, so hats off for that. So you did say you started off at uh, one liquor store. So in particular, we're talking about the Minnesota liquor. Right? Mm -hmm. And I think everybody from the area who knows the community, Minnesota liquors, is, I, I mean, it's like a staple. A yeah. liquor store in the area. Yeah. They got a lot of bottles, a lot of brands. A great, a great, great. Uh, good industry. prices. That's the key. And very much so. Priced. Wow. Very much so. Mm -hmm. And honestly, too, another location that I know that I've seen you guys at is the Lax, the one out mm -hmm. in Millsville. Yeah. That, I, that's where I get my bottle from you guys. Yeah. So whenever I've run out of that, we go grab another bottle right up at the Lax. That was the first place I saw it once we talked about. Yep. It. Yep. Lax Bells Bill, and DC. We in both uh, both of the Lax. Okay. So you can grab it if you're in DC. You can grab it from that one too. Okay. Yeah, Naylor Road. Yeah, Naylor yeah. Road. Yep. So, marketing wise, what was the idea that you guys had? And I'm gonna ask this to you, Ray. I know that you were particularly in the marketing area. What yep. was the idea that you had, or the vision that you had for the Whiskey Right Cherry Group? Um. Uh, well, when I first, one of the biggest things was the flavor, and like he explained, said at one time. Um, um, that he tastes the Hennessy killer. <laughs> well, that was when we were, he was creating the recipe. That was one of my biggest things because 
everybody in Roundaway drank Hennessy. That's I, it. Oh, I just felt like I felt like I felt like I felt like why I'm like I'm like man because of the way whiskey is made and um, you know because of what we can do with it. I felt like we can actually compete with the Hennessy yeah. oh, because 100%. one of the biggest things was we used to do is when we did a taste and people used to say that man it's got like a sweet Hennessy has a sweetness it's yep. made from grapes of course. Yeah. so it has that it has that sweetness so we wanted to, to have the same kick of you know whiskey but have that slight sweetness to it mm. to make sure you your taste buds can get that to it, the mix you know like we gotcha. wanted that mixture and that smokiness that he created was there so when i first took it to the neighborhood you know that's some regular you know regular people just try it see if they would be keen to it, like they would like it and everybody liked it yeah. but he had already did a tasting with um he had already did a tasting with uh hilton and these were people from all over the world. I forget the name of that event. And I believe for the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. it was a nice size event though with people from all over. And everybody wanted the whiskey. So that was one of the first tests. Now the test was, we take it around the Folks way. Around because the way. Yeah. <laughs> they all like it. And then I can get the people in the neighborhood that says it's a great, I go, like a great beverage. Then I knew we had yeah. something. Mm, and me awesome. being the marketing manager, of course, I, I was already marketing like them with the music industry and different things like that. So I saw what could, if it went viral and understanding that part of it mm. and if it's a great product. So those two things kind of had to go hand in hand. If it wasn't a great product, I don't think it would be where it is. Okay. Uh, I think it, it is one of the better whiskeys out there. I think it's top and at our price range and our level. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. it's definitely the most, to me, flavorful everything. Like, And we're starting to grasp customers from other sides. No, um, the price point is the key, but also, like you said, the, the taste, the sweetness. Yeah. Like, I can, I've given this, and my wife is not a drinker. Right. Like, not my, well, she is, she'll drink wine. But even, you know, this, she's like, hey, I can give with this. So like, you have, you know, like you said, experienced drinkers, you have people who are in the cognac, or everybody that we grew up with, <laughs> basically. Right. And then, you know, you have females, like pretty much anybody I've given this to, you know, appreciates it. We've so. got a lot of women who, who convert. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Who, who, oh, I don't drink whiskey. Oh, that's, that's you know. Right, because they think it's harsh. Oh, it's yeah. harsh. Yeah. You know, and burn your soul. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Burn so, your soul. And that's the one that they taste it first. Yeah. They taste it first. And for the record, our biggest supporters have been women. I can believe, I can believe it. Mm -hmm. Our black women, trust me, since, I, um, since we created this product, and we started marketing it. The first, the very first customer, I, I don't want to say her name because I'm on live, and she, <laughs> you know, but she went and bought four bottles. We only had, we, we only had a couple cases. Mm -hmm. She bought four the very first day. That's dope. Like, and this was just off of us marketing, talking mm -hmm. about the brand, me using it. And, and by the time she did that, everybody else saw like, hold up. What is this new but once it started like that women went out and was the one supporting yeah. and gave it to the fellas because what we what we all know is they the culture they tell you what they want oh, no if, you, if you just go buying whatever you want trust me you, you, nine times out of right. ten she ain't gonna want that <laughs> oh, yeah. she's gonna be like <laughs> what are you drinking Facts. you're like i'm not drinking that and there's know? a and i would say too and to your point because when you think about the con yeah like the, the hennessy right there's always the inclination when you pour it, you want to mix it. You want to immediately mm -hmm. throw the coke in it because it's not really that much of a fan to drink it straight. But as I, like he'll say, we've had, I'll pour this and don't nobody need anything but ice. Yep. And they'll just sip on it, right? Yep. And that means so much to what you all have created here because if you don't even want the inclination to be like, hey man, you got coke or something, right, I can right. kind of cut this. That means you 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 infuse it and you've made it to a, a taste that's actually perfect on the palate, right? If you look at any of the you know aficionado drinkers, what they kind of tell you, drop of water mm -hmm. or whatever. But you should never want to mix it. And I think you've done that with this beautifully, man. So and the smell, it's that crazy, was, right? So <laughs> those are the those are the three smell. things he created. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. Like one of the key things. The smell. The first thing you do is when you about to eat something, what's mm -hmm. the first thing you oh, do? Yeah. A drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You After smell it. I don't care what, what it is. First. If you open a bottle of juice, you first thing you do is 
Like, oh, yeah. make sure it's okay. It's good, yeah. <laughs> and with this, you, you not only get a few things, you get that oak wood, you get that, but you get that cherry. You yeah, know? you do. So those mixtures come straight to the aroma, you know, and it, and it gives off that. And that's one thing he created that I said that, um, that makes our whiskey different. No. Like it makes it taste. Good. I don't get a big whiff of alcohol on the nose. Exactly. That's, that's, what, that's, that's right. That's what people go in. That's what people right. yep. That means you can go back into it and get a yeah. good smell. That that alcohol doesn't push you back away from yeah. it. So in our in our uh, so in our review, we did bring up a comment that we thought this you know we had the uh, egg, uh, eggnog type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to ask. So I do want to ask. Uh, was but, yeah. <laughs> I do want to ask a that, question because I got I, a crazy palate. Yeah, I still get it on the nose when. I smell this. Is there some level of vanilla in this? Because I—that's what I get immediate on the nose when I when I sit when I nose. So in your, the process, we do use vanilla to, okay. to infuse the the wood uh, the wood. Yeah. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Exactly. It gives it the smoke, and then it comes together, and then. I thought it was just coming from because I've seen you. Uh, I was on the Facebook page mm -hmm. recharging or uh, recharging the barrel. Yeah, yeah. So I thought it was just after you know pulling it from the actual barrel itself, but using vanilla. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, it's a you know, I can process, smell it now. Though. Oh yeah. So that's why I said it. it's a unique process the way he created it. <laughs> so it can give off that, but after you taste it, then it's like, eh. Uh, once you start drinking it, the best thing it's and he he's also created a filter process. So the smoothness you're getting is a certain filter to use certain things we do mm. to the whiskey. A lot of them go from proof, straight from barrel, straight to, yep. uh, of course they have to do some type of filter to make yeah. sure there's none, none of the, uh, you know, from the barrel, yeah, from the in, barrel. Right. in there. But they don't do what we do to it. So we make it an extra smoothness because like we said, we wanted it to be the champagne of whiskey. Yeah. That is what we want. The I like that. And I like that. that because water plays such a, a huge role. Oh, in that is the water from too. from the Shenandoah. That's, that's where, what you know we yeah. down in Waynesboro. Oh yeah, so I was going to bring that up. I, nice, I, and, nice. I, I vacation there before. Right. That's with right. the Kentucky limestone, like yeah. the water is important. Mm -hmm. I seen that on the Facebook. It almost looks like a science experiment. I saw the different models <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, he did. actually. Yo, if I post it, his original. <laughs> If I post his original, uh, his original tool that he created, right. he did create a in smoke infused tool though. Now we haven't used it yet because it, it, it takes so much energy to create what he wanted to create right. with okay. how much we're producing. So you got to kind of have to produce, if you're producing on a scale like we're producing now, yeah. um, it's a little different from what he was doing at first. But his first contraption, it was, we still, he gonna create it later, we gonna patent it, he gonna get it made and things like that, but for we now. We gonna upscale it. Yeah, okay. we gonna upscale it. That's different though. That's for your, um, it'll be for people, it'll be for people who's not um, creating what we're doing. It's okay. for people who, like you guys say, yeah, okay, you wanna, wanna make a drink? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna create yeah. that type of machine that's special for enough, like let's just oh, say you wow. got 30 people, then it's something like that. Or oh, you can make it for yourself if you want. But we oh, trying man. to create, he's gonna create. Know. I told oh, you, yeah. oh, <laughs> I got the so video. I we ain't never, man, we yeah. You I heard it? Like the individual smoke is where you. Yeah, yeah they have those small. too. They yeah, they put the glass yeah. on yeah. the top. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's small. Yeah, okay. so you going <laughs> much larger than oh, that. Oh yeah, oh, well, so fam, you, you heard it here. That'll keep yeah. the party. Yeah. 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 You want to up the You know, maybe probably like um certain amount of guys. Yeah, we can do. Probably a few gallons at a time. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Man. Oh, that's so, gonna be big. So yeah, that's what we that's for the future though. I mean I figure he's gonna create that when he gets some time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now you guys said that I mean, of course now it's in <clears throat> ton of stores, you're doing mass production. Uh do you offer like any kind of tour of the facilities yet? Uh, no, nah, not yet. Nah. We're really not there yet. Just we're we're, we're, manu we we're manufacturing right, right, right now. Right. Um, okay. right now it's basically our focus has to be manufacturing. Oh. That's when you, you know, when you start focusing on stuff like that, you kind of change the narrative. Cause now we gotta be, you know, like it's, it's, it's a lot to have to, Sit down and you know you may get one tour, two mm -hmm. tours, right. Right. but it's in the works though. Yeah, yeah. that right. is Once actually we, in the works. We're gonna right. get a new facility and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So in the I same mean, area. We, we, we're we're probably looking at that. You okay. know, yeah, we want to keep that we, same yeah, water we source. Keep that same <laughs> oh yeah, I can't <laughs> so, <laughs> have the truck then. Though. Right. Yeah. I definitely, definitely want to get ready to get this pour in. So I do want to ask one question before we pour it up for you guys. And this and this uh, particular one is is that so what. What was the process on how you came up with this profile? Like, what, what did it have all entail for you to really develop to say, this is exactly what I wanted for this particular spirit? So, 
every entrepreneur knows that when you create something, it's something you like, mm -hmm. you know? And eventually, it's something you like plus like 90% of what everybody else likes so you can sell it. So basically it was trial and error and just kind of testing, testing, testing. Um, and you know, okay, going back and forth. Uh, no, no, we want it this way. No, I want it this way, you know. So then it was like, okay, let's, let's take, you know, my personal, you know, taste out of it, <laughs> some of it. And then we can go and then, you know, make it a mass, mass market appeal. Okay. So, Basically, just you know, getting all the feedback we can get, and say, okay, now nah, this this too smoky, or that's you know not smoky enough, and then bam, we got it. Nice, you know, hey, man. Yeah, it, it took it took a couple of tries to yeah. make sure it was for this one that we have now. Mm -hmm. Of course, like he said, because you know when you first doing it, you're doing it for you know the first twenty people might all have different. Like y'all, mm -hmm. y'all the first people I heard say the whole eggnog. <laughs> eggnog. I said okay, but I. I Actually, I actually got it though. I knew what you were saying because only because I know what's in it. So I'm like, oh, okay. I see where they're going with it. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, I see where they're going with it. But um, you gonna get several different. You know, you might get people. It's plenty of people who came up to say, oh, I don't like it. Well, what are we supposed to do? Change the recipe for one person? Right. Because I got no. three people sitting here who say right. they like it. No, so, absolutely. Right, one person because you're gonna get that. You're, you're yeah. gonna get that. I mean, it's people who say I don't drink this, and then they drink it, and they be like, oh. Well, I didn't know, because when we're doing the tasting, because um, I do a lot of the tastings and go out for the marketing side. So when we're doing those tastings, that's where you really hear how people really feel. The best thing is to hear a person who says, I don't drink whiskey, and then they and try they, our whiskey. And they love it. Mm. And they say, oh, wow, I didn't know this was whiskey, or this is whiskey. See, it's a difference because a lot of them had bad experiences with cheap alcohol. Oh, like, right. that Instead is the key. Instead of savoring it, exactly. they want to get drunk on it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like they hate it. Like back in the day, everybody right. used to buy the St. Ives. Exactly. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Just you so, ain't know right. what you was drinking. You right. just knew that was the most popular thing to do, and it was it was horrible. And would you go buy St. Ives now? <laughs> probably no, no, not. not. Like, no, probably not. Not even I remember a Hurricane. You remember a Hurricane? It used to be a dollar for a 40. I lived uptown, so it was a dollar for a whole 40 you can literally go get a 40 for one dollar so and i'm like can you imagine drinking it now so that's the same way when i was drinking christian brothers like, yeah oh yeah oh, 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 right. Right. Oh, and Jay. Oh, I didn't start God. drinking yeah, and, 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 and the Remy exactly. until I got a little bit older and exactly. started hanging with certain people. Yeah. So now that we of age, we you know, and I also look at it, it's a hundred percent it's a um, ninety ninety nine percent corn base. Mm -hmm. It's That's just right. corn. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's another thing, the way your alcohol is made. Mm -hmm. So, and that's the things I learned from him. I really didn't. Um, I, I was, I wasn't, I was on whiskeys, but he kind of taught me all. Of, okay, this is what goes mm -hmm. here. This does this. That's, that's cool. when you really get into it. Like, oh, I see why whiskey is the number one seller. Like, that's why because people who really into it, they get educated behind into it. The like, it's a science. Yeah, it's because yeah, if you don't science. know that, people be like, you don't know the match, but you don't know the yeah. people who come oh, to right, you. Right, right. You know that. Exactly. You would never, not to say it, but you would never hear too many Hennessy drinkers say, hey, but what's, uh, what type of Kanye? What's it? Right. Da -da -da -da, and start going into it. No. They'll just go buy it. Yeah. Like, they'll, I mean, they put a price there. And I'm not hating on Kanye or anything like that, but I'm saying, like, when it comes to you, you know, knowing what you're drinking. Yeah, yeah. cognac. At a certain age, you got to know what you're right. drinking. And I, I used to say, like, for us, I think the reason why, when we, like you said, when we were growing up, you kind of wanted to get where you were going fast. Right. You know? <laughs> get drunk. Shot, shot, you know? shot. But right. as I've gotten older, and with this, I sip to enjoy it. Exactly. And it, this works. Right. Better than the cognac. That's why I said, oh, okay, no question. Well, some cognacs. I mean, of course, there's a yeah, cognac yeah, out there, you know, you that know, you, they got but the expensive stuff. With a regular right, right. VS, all day, this oh, yeah. all day, all day. But yeah. you know, I, I don't want to get sidetracked. I know you say you no, no, that's work. all right. No, yeah, cause I'm dead because I'm eager. Dude. I don't want this to be a dry drink channel. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. hey, for this, definitely, I say this is the whiskey right, right here, Trey Wood fam. So was it twenty seven dollars? I think it's yeah, between, between, yeah, yeah. It's between twenty five and twenty seven. What I saw. Oh yeah. Like. So our natural price would be between. It depends what store. I get it for twenty one. All right. So that's no. what I'm saying. So yeah. it depends on what store you go to. In certain stores, made because they buy more. So if they buy more. They, they naturally they get a deal and they lower the price right. a little bit for their customers. If they buy less, 
you'll probably see the price just up three, like four dollars yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah. That that'll be the only difference. Yeah. Um, of maybe a two to three dollar, sometimes four dollar price difference. All right. so. Hey, well that's it, fam. Listen, one hundred percent. We've said it before. We'll say it again. This is a buy. If it's on the shelf, grab it. When? Summertime. Spring, oh, winter, oh, yeah. fall, yeah. Like I said, you can do it in the summer. This is a year round sipper. What's the proof on it? 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, so, so how do you guys? No bite, no nothing. Right you normally just drink it straight, neat. Yeah. Or I put it like an ice ball. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. I personally do not affect my whiskey with no ice. Depends though. Okay. Depends if we have business going on. If we have business going on. He, he, he throws my. That's why I throws asked. Mice in it. Because I know. But like put like, the chili. Yeah. yeah. Like this much. We the just ice ball ain't going. I'm talking. Water it down. I'm talking if you like in the house, you know, mm -hmm. something like that. But if we doing business mostly, we have some ice. Okay. Over. But like. For us, like this, man, it's, it's very smooth. I didn't drink it from, like on the early, like on vacation. I didn't have my whiskey with me drinking it early when I got up ten, <laughs> 10 in the morning. Nice. That's, that's how you do vacation. But that's how easy of a sip. It is. But that's how, like, that's the, listen. That's I, dangerous too, because it goes down so smooth. It is, but like I said, I've done it like and not, and not felt like all like woke up. You don't get the Hennessy the hangover. No, that's, no. I can go on and on all day. No, yeah. I got a question for you though. Go. What would you recommend? Man, what would be your best recommendation for a mixed cocktail? If you wanted to mix. If you wanted to mix it, I know you don't. So, preferably you don't. If you want to mix it, you can mix it. You can make a margarita. You can make a daiquiri. You can okay. make Manhattan. You, you can make, make old fashioned. Old fashioned yeah. ginger yeah. beer works ginger well. Beer. Um, yeah. You can make a lemonade with it. Yeah, actually, Damn, I so, so my Cherry sister, lemonade. my sister Cherry owns lemonade. a bar called um, um, well, El Elroy's, Elroy's down on 8th Street. Okay. And um, she does something, they have like a special lemonade concoction they make with it. And she was the first person, her bartender, did it with pink lemonade and they did like a little nice little mixture and, and put some lime in it and it was, it was a great drink. Oh, it's man. a good drink. So that's They dope. still make it? Cause I'm yeah, 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 yeah. If you go down oh, Elroy's, yeah, that's, that's go down Elroy's, they, and my sister also has a rum. She All has right. a rum with us too. All right. So um, she partnered so, with us for so a frozen a cherry daiquiris. Yes, it's really it's legit. Yeah. Oh, wait, and you know that yes. makes sense. Okay, that's happening. But see, that's so, why I asked because I know like a lot of times when you're talking to distillers, people think, oh, well, you just drink it straight. Right. Just drink it straight. Don't mix it with anything. But a lot of times they'll say, no, nah, I, I put old fashioned with this. this. Is very I, yeah, I put ice. Yeah. Right. And that was the whole purpose. Like we really seriously, we did not want just that fella's drink. Mm. That's that to me mm. is nice. like smart marketing. Yeah, right there. yeah, like Martell or not Martell, um what's that what's that whiskey I like? The one that's the twelve year age. Uh begins with an M. Uh, makers, makers, yeah. makers, makers. makers. Oh, no, 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 the makers, makers. Oh, McCallum, McCallum. Oh, 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 I don't like makers, but I, I'm not nothing against it. I just don't drink it. Gotcha, McCallum. Like that to me is a gentleman's drink. Oh yeah, like, it is. You only gonna yeah. meet a certain type of per woman who drinks right. that. Like Fact. that's my that's opinion. True. And I've been to a lot of places and drinking. They do not like that type of harsh because it's very harsh. Mm -hmm. and it's that's aggressive. what I said. I, I've had my wife try a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time Usually Scotch is a is a uh, that too yeah. unique quiet yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And you got it. That's I, when you turn like fifty. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Literally, you age. I don't know too many. I, I just don't know too many women who drink uh, Johnny Walker. Like yeah, nothing against yeah, these brands, but yeah. I don't know women who drink them. Yeah, I think so that's kind of like bread. I figure for us, we should cater to to our women because they they the ones who set the tone. Like, come on, who was drinking? Uh, what was that? The passion. Right. Was it? Oh, you yeah. telling me a man? Right. I don't think no dude ever said, "Yo, give me, I'm gonna give me a thing." No, it probably was a woman saying, "Look, mix that with this. I'm telling you, it's gonna taste better." Right. And then a dude tasted it. Was like, oh, this is really good. I'm gonna start drinking this right. all the time. Ooh. Because it's like the club. club up. You let the Just females <laughs> in, the dudes will buy bottles. So you think dudes in it, the most dudes they buy bottles because they want, you know, because they want a bunch of dudes in there. They yep. want the women, can, hey, can I try that? Or whatever the case may be. And now the women in the buy the bottles. Yep. You know, so it's hey, well fam, you heard it you heard it here first. Don't be a bottle snob. <laughs> Come get this. Make a drink if you want to, or drink it straight. The choice is yours. So <laughs> Coming up, Sorry, we will be 
introducing to you all on our channel none other than the whiskey right bourbon because let me tell you they not just one way they are versatile they already talked about it and we're gonna jump into it all right fam we back and as you always know we have our next bottle that we are eagerly ready to sip on and it is none other than the whiskey right bourbon and who better to introduce i'm gonna shut up but i gotta go ahead and give it over to our marketer <laughs> ceo of that my man Ray. Ray, tell us about the bottle. So this right here is a special edition, uh, three year anniversary whiskey right bottle. We started, it actually came out in 2020. Mm. Um, so we dropped it into, we started in 2017. So we brought it beginning in 2017, so of course, 2020 three-year anniversary so this is our baby this is the three-year anniversary you'll notice it's a little different mm. from the original one um, because it's the special anniversary bottle. all right so if somebody wanted to grab this limited release bottle where could they find it um, you can only find it in two places right now and those are the only two we really sell to um, and that's chats liquors on 8th Street um, on on 7th 8th Street Southeast 503 8th Street Southeast on Capitol Hill or Minnesota Liquor at 2230, 2237 Minnesota Avenue across from Orr. Um, so both of those two liquor stores keep it in stock. But those are the only two we do business with because those were the first liquor stores that promoted us and helped us out. So we wanted to make it like a limited special thing. If you go to them, that's where you can get it. From. Okay, all right, dope, dope, dope. All right, so fam, we want to do something a little bit different. It's it's the same. It kind of feels the same as that we've always done with our episode. But since we have the CEOs in the building we have to have like a, almost like a little game show and I'm, we, I'm gonna call it you know what do we know our palates and the way we're gonna do it is this we're gonna do it like we normally do we're gonna nose it we're gonna taste it and we're gonna see what we really get but since we have the makers here they're gonna let us know how close are we to the actual ingredients of the bottle so they Will the blood, this is for the bloodhound. Will the bloodhound <laughs> be able, with his nose and his palate, stand up to the test by having the actual makers in the room? I took you on the spot. Put you on the spot. I took an extra the allergy pill today. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Make sure I can, I can smell out of both nostrils. All right, okay. So this is how it works. So, you know, so Ed Ray, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to nose it. We're going to try to give our flavors. I'm going to put this on our bloodhound because can't get right, can't. Yeah. He could yeah. he, he, he smell it. He couldn't nose right. it. That's all I got. Yeah. And it's he good. Could, I've already had it. Yeah, he couldn't nose the tire at a track. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to kind of lean on our on our bloodhound over here to be the official answer for what we think. Right. So we putting all of our respect on your shoulders <laughs> so what for what we doing. Right, yeah, right. We might never have to drink channel after this. You know what I mean? So it's <laughs> a lot of riding on you. Is that, is that deep? It might a lot of riding on you. Viewers might, you know, be done with us after this. So we're going to nose it. We're going to see what you say. And we're gonna see what it, the, what the real is, what they were going for. So everybody good for that? Yeah. Nice. All right. Taking the legs on. Okay. So that it's coating the glass pretty nice. Got a nice oil to it. So what you get on the nose, man? So this he thinking hard, hard now, cause he know he know he got to get this right. <laughs> Not heavy on the alcohol, so I can go in. Mm -hmm. Do I smell honey in there? Okay, so honey. I think so, I smell honey. So you thinking honey? Okay, so is that an official answer? You thinking nose? You yeah. got honey in there? I got honey. Okay, yeah, it smells like sweeter. Yeah, you get a, a yeah. sweetness to it. But I mean, that that, sh that should be. I'm, I'm assuming corn. Corn. Yeah. Uh huh. And I mean, of course, oh, I get is that. It, is right. that. Oh, can't get right. getting in the picture. Is it a high corn mash bill? It's 45% corn. Yeah, so. Oh, it's 45% corn? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it high corn mash bill? Yeah, so. Oh, it's 45% corn? Yeah, a little bit of the wood. Not much. Okay. I get some oak, yeah. See, I'm going to follow mm -hmm. down behind him. <laughs> <You gotta, laughs> I don't get, get much hope. vanilla out of it, though. I okay. might get a little... 5% corn, my bad. Yeah, I was, I, I was like, hold on, that's not bourbon, though. <laughs> <laughs> when he said, I looked at it, I was like, <laughs> okay, bad, I, I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you did that, though. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You didn't try to correct the teaser. Yeah, I, yeah, I like yeah. that you did that. You know what I'm saying? So what's your lock in, man? You got, you I can got say honey, a little bit of oak. I don't get vanilla. 
but no eggnog. No, no eggnog. No eggnog. No eggnog. No eggnog. No No cardamom. Nothing like that. Okay. I do get. I do. I do. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I do get a spice note in there. I don't know what no, it is. I, I, I'm thinking cinnamon, but that's not in there. All right, come on, Bloodhound. What you got? Is that it? All right, so we're going to pass this over. Might have a little bit of, like, either white pepper or... Okay. I'm going to go with that. So we're going to pass it over to our aficionado. So, Ed, we're going to taste it first, and then... You want to taste it first? Then keep going? Okay, let's go then. Let's go. Let's. Hey, so fam, let's pour it up. Cheers. Cheers. All right. All right. Let's do it. Come on, I did it back. I'm believing you, buddy. Come on. I was... I believe in you. Yes. A hundred proof. Yes, it is a hundred. But still smooth. Really? Oh, that's a hundred proof. That's a hundred proof. Oh, it's definitely a spice on this. Yeah, you got a so little I spice at the, at the back of my tongue. I'm getting a little spice. Got a nice little hug to it. Good I like that. Warm me up. That's um, that like a. That's that hundred proof. Thing. That's what it is. <laughs> that clears sinuses. This so is, basically, you looking at like. 55% corn, mm -hmm. like I said the first time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I heard you wrong. 45% uh, wheat. Uh, the mixture is, is you, you get the, the sweetness from the corn, but you get the smoothness from the wheat. And so the secret ingredient, so what I do is I finish it with um, smoked red oak. It gives it another you know element of wow. flavor to it. Hence the spice. So you still yeah, get it. Because it's, it's a spice note. You get the oak and yeah. you get the well, that's, caramel. That's and really the 100 proof. From the barrel. You're getting hit yeah. from that barrel. So you say there's a caramel in there. No. Like, from the no, barrel. From, from the, the barrel. barrel. Right. Yeah, then you, you get, get the, the, the natural. natural, 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 natural you know. Yeah. Caramelized with you. Yeah. I didn't, that's why there I, I didn't get much vanilla. No vanilla. Yeah, because you normally get that. Depends on From the oak. and What char did you use? So this is a three. Number three. Okay. Nice. This is good. But then, hey, my nose and palate may be broken. No, that's <laughs> fine. I don't. I wouldn't expect you to be as if good. You can do that. Who make you? you need exactly. To be, yeah. If you can tell them, you, exactly you might have got a job yeah. today. Boy, you might have got a job today. Let me. If you can tell send me you email. What's in it with mash bill just by sipping it. That, which there are people that do stuff like that, like, uh, but you have to, like, that's some, man, that's that's, 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 that's living a life. It right. is really yeah. living a life. Right. But as a bourbon, stuff, though, man. this they also say if you this water it good. down, the more you water it down, the more you get the more the flavor notes. Yeah, yeah. So, but I like, I like, well, that's why you should always drink um, water with alcohol. Like, if you're but, drinking, yeah, drink some water to clear your pilots. If you're sipping, oh, 100 If you're sipping multiple, that's why the first thing I did was drink a lot of water. Oh, yeah, or clear your glass because yeah. you know. Like you said, because the residue that you get on any spirit, it'll yep. stay in your glass. So you'll now get that mixture and you'll change. You could essentially change what you're drinking. But most of the high proof whiskeys, you get more of the flavor than when they proof it down. Yes. I don't know. You get more of the sweetness yes. out of the whiskey and that's, um, than when you proof it down to that, say, so, if you want to get it at 80 or uh, 90 proof. So mm -hmm. so when you know distillers uh, have this, this battle between the distillers and the, the accountants, the distillers want the higher proof because you get better whiskey. Mm -hmm. It tastes better, you get more complexity to it. The accountants come along Order it and down. and want, you know, more 80 you. proof. <laughs> so they can stretch they can market, they can make more money. You know, yeah. so exactly. They want you to step on it. Right. Ain't, 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 ain't no different than the game on it. You sound a little bit for me and to the game. We know, yeah. In certain terms, that's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to double step on it, but then you got a man who right here say, don't. It's blue man. Yeah. Hit it with the wire wrap. Right. Right. Oh, this blue dog. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. This is what we going to do. He said, don't step on it. <laughs> and that's what it is, though. Serious, though. That's so, exactly what it is. Hey, Most importantly, though. Proof value is very good. important. It's good. Then that's oh, what yeah, it is. It's good. good. This is a very good, honestly, it's a good bourbon. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's, that's Price-wise, what are we talking about? 
Um, this one goes for forty four ninety nine. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's, that's, a, that's at that price. That's a win. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's we right in the middle between and, your, your entry level. And that's and our marketing and strategy right. too. Yeah. If you notice, our bottles will be right up under the cuffs of other bottles because. We want to keep you in that price range. We don't want to over. We don't want you to reach we, for your wallet and yeah, you take your hand away. We, right. Right. we you know? definitely Facts. though for an anniversary that. bottle, we could have went sixty dollars for this anniversary because mm -hmm. it's special. You know, it's like we don't have a lot of them out there. So when you got it, you got it. Mm -hmm. And if it ain't nothing out there, it's not gonna be nothing until we decide to say, okay, we'll restock them because we want it to be exclusive. We don't want it to be. If it's not exclusive, it's no longer what we want. That's why I bought a couple. <laughs> exactly. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Right. Guess what? It might not be. Enough for another couple of months. Hey, there right. you go. We don't argue when there's guests in the room. We don't argue when there's guests in the room. We don't argue when there's guests in the room. But I want to ask some questions while we got them, while they're still here for that limited time. So I do want to ask some questions. You know, being your own company, being black owned, what are some of those challenges since you all started as a company that you guys have faced? You know, just, just. Money issues. Um, trying to get loans from the banks. Yeah. Um, let's talk about. <laughs> let's talk about. Um, you know, when 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 you got money, the bank still don't want to holler at you. Right. You know what I mean. Even wow. with so a certain amount in right. the bank. So it's like you're doing business. You're same. making money. They see it, <laughs> and they still don't want to give you that money. Woo. So that's that's been tough because we've been basically out of pocket. You know, out of pocket. You know, from the beginning, and then you know, slowly we're you know, kind of taking in you know the money from the sales and everything yeah. but it was tough from the beginning because we were just basically coming out of our pockets mm. you know literally work money i'm talking we both was working nine right. to five so literally like, okay, nine to five money and this is some money <laughs> pay for this you know, exactly <laughs> keep the dream going oh look at so industrial other black banks is out there y'all hearing this right don't don't let bank of america come through and scoop up what could be considered a, a billion dollar business. Exactly. Come to get in on the ground floor, man. Get on the ground floor. Yeah. So, hey, when talking about challenges, we always got to talk about the successes. So, what has been some of those great moments that y'all had since y'all started y'all company? Well, one of his biggest things we met with, um, we did an event for a senator, um, Nat, um, Nathan Palmer, Miss Nathan oh, Palmer, man. up mm -hmm. in Baltimore. Wow. We did a private event for Miss Palmer. That's good. Um, we've, <laughs> we, we've done we've several events. Countless, we, countless, like, countless people, people, like countless just, uh, business wise, entrepreneurs like yourself creating podcasts. It's like that's the success. Mm. The success is that to me, just being able to come educate people on what we're doing. Yeah. Um, because. Just keep it going. Because because a lot of people, like when they talk about it, they think that it's many black distilleries. Well, it's really not. We're the only one in this area. Oh yeah. Like having a distillery. Yeah. Other people might have a liquor brand, but the distillery is a little bit different. So, which is we're trying to um, that is the biggest thing. It's actually not a lot in the United States. Mm -hmm. I don't even just mean right here. I mean the United States. So we want to be part of that forefront. And it's liquor stores in our neighborhood, so mm -hmm. we, we can't own a piece of that. And that's the, one of the things that I look at. Not to even just say we want to keep all our people intoxicated, <laughs> but just in general. <laughs> so you're telling me we can have the liquor stores in our neighborhood, but we can't own a market share of what's being sold in facts. our own neighborhood? Yeah, people are going to drink regardless. If I didn't sell it, somebody else would be selling it. Like, so that's not what I mean. I mean, that's my fact. But you're, you're you. a business. And yeah, I mean, it's like a business. With, like, with that? We have fun with it, though. Like, yeah. we really go around. We do a lot of sponsorships. If you look up people, you'll see how many. I can show you. I have a list of people we just done sponsorships for. We go out and they can actually talk to us. They can call me. They can, hey, hey, we got an event coming up. Can you help us with some alcohol? You know, come in and be a sponsor. Yeah, okay, I'll come in and do a sponsorship. Like, yeah. I think I did one at the harbor. Yep, yep. we just did. Mm -hmm. We just did that for Miguel Wilson. Yeah. We done. We done two for him. We right. Done one we in Atlanta. Another one we got up. another one coming wow. up for him. Mm -hmm. We got. They got the Black got Spirits coming festivals up. coming another, up. Another polo event. We got a polo up. event coming nice. up in, in, in Potomac. Black in Spirits Potomac. Fest. Black Spirits mm -hmm. Festival. Mm -hmm. Two mm -hmm. Black Spirits Festival. Right. Um, Okay. We done countless yeah. like man. I mean, in the past three years, like yeah, we done. Oh, we we sponsored a volleyball team in Florida. Oh, yeah, yeah, we bro. did. Oh, and yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. About yeah, we even we got our name in space. Uh, oh yeah, so we so, sent out stuff oh, to NASA. Right. So, so, <laughs> nah, hold up, y'all ain't like my man. Y'all ain't playing this man. Y'all about to start. No, no, no. 
no, this is cool though. But I did, I did look it up. I was about to, you know, buy buy a plant. Oh man. I said, wait a second, hold up, hold up. I didn't hear about this. 65 billion. So. Right. 65 billion for a plant. Right. All right, I'm gonna call you back. But yeah, so we, we did have back. whiskey right written on the moon. No, he did. On, nice. on, on Mars. They allowed Seriously. you. Seriously. Yeah, you could send it. So you, you can send your name in um, to, to get laser etched on Mars. So we, whiskey right is written on Mars. So we we in outer space. That's yeah. fire. You know? Oh, that's fire. So yeah. you know, I didn't even know you, you know how people like can buy roads? Like, you can, like, sponsor roads. Yeah. Okay. Too, across oh, the yeah, that, that. We sponsor something in that Mars. So, fam, <laughs> you ain't got to fly and hit the edge of the moon like Elon Musk. You know what I'm saying? Mars, you just go get, your, Mars, go get your business on Mars. You know what I'm saying? Write your name in yeah, the listen, ethos. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? When, it, when the business starts to travel to Mars, because they going, it's happening, man. There you go. It's going to be a whiskey right distillery on Mars. Because it's already a plot right there. There you go. I didn't know who to contact to get the bottle on the ship. <laughs> exactly. But I said I might as well get the name on. Hey, that's fine, you know? man. That's fine. No, I mean, like we it. really did that though. Like people think it was a joke, but we like we literally did that. No, that's fine. I, I, I didn't know that even existed. You. <laughs> <laughs> and that is dope. But I, I wanted. To I didn't even until he came to me and said, "You know, we're going to Mars." I'm sorry. <laughs> like, but well, I, I wanted to just get back to right. go ahead. What put emphasis on what you were talking about with black distilleries? and how few there are, but then how important it is to support, you know, entrepreneurs, businesses like like yours. Like it, like you said, there's a lot of um, local women, they, yeah. they, they're they behind your brand. Yeah. But we are too, like, yeah, we yeah, support yeah, definitely. businesses, especially yeah. black businesses. Yeah, like, and that was one of the things, yeah. one of the reasons why we, you know, kind of created the channel mm -hmm. too, was to do stuff like this, so, you know, yeah, and definitely, all. we appreciate y'all coming on the show, but, you know, you got supporters and us three, serve that and I'm going to try, you know, basically plug y'all whenever I can, because there needs to be more folks like you guys, like you said, like us. We, nice. we should have a piece. Yeah, yeah it's, right. it's, it's, it's recycling dollars, yeah. what people not understand, and like, they really think that, oh, if they make me rich, then they're just not, I'm like, really? Okay, but think about this, now I'm hiring within our community, mm -hmm. you think, and I'm able to sponsor 20 times more, yeah. or able, mm -hmm. when the kids need basketball stuff, who you think you can go to, why do you think they do this in their communities, they literally do this, they literally put money behind politicians to get the right politicians in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we need, let's just say, a certain politician in Maryland in a certain district, well, where do you think they're going to get the funds to run up against somebody who has hundreds of millions of dollars backing them because they know they can help with contracts, all the things like that. That is the most important type of things you want to do. Like, it, it, all right, we get rich, okay, but then, guess what, you might know somebody who needs to, wants to run and do you something. Not, you like, hey, problem. fill your yeah. cup back. Right. 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 And he has the same values as we do. Right. So if he has the same values, what do we want to do? Yeah. We want to put some money behind this campaign. This is what's going on all across America. Mm -hmm. So okay. whether people want to understand it or not, who do you think pays for you know a lot of these um, <laughs> Congress people to run? And do oh, right. things, mm -hmm. Corporations. Man. Corporations. They, 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 so they get them. America is a corporation. So yeah. if we're going to do business here, we should have people that have our interests also here. And the only way to get them in is in the office and money. Yeah, so so it, it's not just about us making money and becoming successful. And, uh, that's fine. We're going to do that. that. Regardless, whether we work right, a nine to five, I'm going to be successful or whether I own a distillery or whether we do whatever we do. But the principles are is, is back in what we do. Yeah, that's why giving back. we put a lot of other entrepreneurs yeah, into the business. Our too. agenda forward as well. I got a question for you. you we've already tasted your your, your cherry wood and your bourbon. What other spirits do you all have? And let us know about those. All right, so we got, so coming up, there's a hemp line. There's mm. a hemp flavored vodka, gin, rum, whiskey. Well, actually, vodka, um, rum, whiskey, and bourbon uh, coming up. Um, the vodka and the rum will be debuting probably late September, October. Mm. Um, the bourbon and whiskey, early 2022. Um, we've got ourselves the, the the new baby is gonna be gonna be arriving soon. We got ourselves a scotch coming from uh, Scotland called Right Scotch. It's called a Right Scotch blended Scotch whiskey. Yep. Um, 
that'll be that'll be you know coming soon. Mm. Um, right well, it's now. in play. Right, it's, it's in play. Okay. We just we right. we're getting it to market, working on exactly. getting it to market because um, it has to be shipped, of course. It's just right. just Can we get you guys back on the show. Right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That debut review. Not yet. Not yet. Because of COVID. Because of COVID. Oh yeah, 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 yeah